Well, what I'd like to do is to read the first poem and the last poem of my new book, Plague Poems, 2020 Vision. And they're both uh, related to Albert Camus, who was not a, a writer that I have known well before, at any rate. This poem is called Camus Redux, and there's an epigraph by Camus from the plague. It says, the plague bacillus never dies or vanishes entirely. It can remain dormant for dozens of years in furniture or clothing. It waits patiently in bedrooms, cellars, trunks, handkerchiefs, and old papers. And perhaps the day will come when for the instruction or misfortune of mankind, the plague will rouse its rats and send them to die in some well-contented city. Like New York. Uh -huh. Hitler dead. Mussolini gone, Pétain in the ash can of history, but the rats are out again, Nova virus, Nova fascism. Can we muster the compassion Camus felt in the middle of it all, his sympathy for humanity, at the risk of turning evil into a banality as Hannah Arendt would have it? Disease, separation, and exile come upon us unexpectedly, absurdly, and the only way to fight the plague is with decency, Camus tells us. But how can we not blame our country now, left and right? How can we find the will to resist compromise, to survive, to love? <laughs> so the last poem of this book is also dedicated, as for its uh, subject, Camus' Uh, book called The Stranger. So it's, it's, it's a wild book. I won't try to give the plot. But uh, it's a guy accused correctly and incorrectly of murder and is about to die in France. The priest, trying to give solace to Camus' stranger, says he must believe in an afterlife. And when the free-floating murderer says nothing, sure that nothing matters, the priest incredibly wants to kiss him. Mm -hmm. How does it end? We don't know. The prisoner accepts the guillotine. The blade is sharp no matter when it comes slicing down. The prisoner reflects, and what difference would it make if after being charged with murder, he were executed because he didn't weep at his mother's funeral? Of the priest, he says, couldn't he grasp what I meant by that dark wind blowing from my future? For the first time, the stranger lays his heart open to the benign indifference of the universe. All he asks is that on the day of my execution, there should be a huge crowd of spectators and that they should greet me with howls of execration. Justice becomes political assassination. Murder is murder. Da Vinci says it best. It is an infinitely atrocious act to take away the life of a man. Right. But this man, this stranger, how he lingers at the edge of what it means to be human, how he smells and thinks and loves, how intriguing he is, and how glad we are that he lives this is Rita Dolly's uh, painting, which graces this last uh, poem. At any rate, this comes from Richard Hartice, uh -huh. who is the president of the William Meredith Foundation and directs Poets' Choice Publishing House. And he lives in Connecticut with his dog, Sydney, an Australian cattle dog. And that's it. Perfect.